special uh, friend, uh, uh, somebody who has been really an icon in the civil rights of movement, um, and again, also um, a, a very a stalwart friend of Cuba, Dr. Angela Davis. Congratulations to the Latin American School of Medicine graduating class of 2020, and specifically to Samira Audrey, Kimberly Doughty, Mariam Farrakhan, Rukhaya Farrakhan, Corey Johnson, Marsofia Julemis, Jacqueline Lerma, Natalia Orichuela, Abigail Firon Ross, Ajiwa Weathers, and Denisha Woods. As a long time <laughs> revolution, I am extremely happy to witness, to have been able to witness the amazing development of the Latin American School of Medicine, which, as you all know, was the brainchild of our beloved Fidel Castro. As you know, tens of thousands of doctors have trained in Cuba under full scholarship with the understanding that upon graduation, they will provide quality and culturally competent healthcare in underserved communities in their countries. Cuba has trained physicians in over 126 nations, including the US. Uh, and we know that the US has imposed a brutal blockade against Cuba. With your graduating class, there are now 195 graduates of ELAM. I know that Reverend Lucius Walker, who was the founding director of the Interreligious Foundation for Community Organization, has played an important role in the development of, of this institution. And I know that you're all excited about the prospect of giving back to your communities I'm certain that you will all play a role in transforming the backward for-profit healthcare system in the US. The excellent healthcare system in Cuba remains a model for the world and especially for the US where the COVID-19 pandemic has revealed the devastating impact of privatized medical care, especially for communities of color. We need you. I wish you great success in your future work. So once again, warm congratulations to the Elam class of 2020. Lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I help you carry 